the biggest scientific breakthrough of the 20th century. Uh, in biology, I suppose it would have to be the double helix, uh, the Watson and Crick discovery of the structure of DNA, which is far more, was far more than just the discovery of the crystallographic um, work, di discovering the structure of a, of a big molecule. Because what, they, what that led up to was a major revolution in which much of biology became a sort of branch of information technology. Um, the consequence of the Watson-Crick discovery, with all that it led on to, the, the DNA code and the sort of um, uh, various genome projects that are going on now, is that genes, which from my point of view are absolutely central to biology, genes are information. They are coded information. It even looks like computer information. I mean, a, a, a chromosome is, is a great long computer tape. It's linear, it runs one-dimensional, one digital code. Um, it's not binary, it's quaternary, but apart from that, it's, it's just the same as, as computer tape. It's, it's read in, in sequence. Um, it's copied and pasted from one part of the organism to another in just the same way as, as a computer programmer would cop copy and paste. Um, so biology has turned into, into computer science. Biology has turned into, into computer science, into computer science. Well, then how did it get created? Well, um, by a very slow process. Well, how did it start? Nobody knows how, how, how it started. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. And what was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right. How did that happen? I told you we don't know. So you have no idea how it started? No, no. no, no nor has anybody. Nor has anyone else. What do you think is the possibility that, there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer.